Hi, welcome to my channel at Bobby's Girl Through Row 444. These are going to be love messages for the sign of Pisces. These are going to be uh, the next lover that's coming in or um, love or uh, this could also be a past person. This could be an ex if you're looking to um, reconnect here or rekindle something. Um, we're looking into new love. So let's uh, see Pisces. I'm going to get you three cards here. See what's going on with this person, what you have to look forward to with this new love. If you're not expecting a new love interest to come in, to come in, then this messages will not be for you. But we're going to check their personality traits, see what's going on with this person, this new love um, interest or new, this new love special person that's coming into you. So Pisces, what's going on with this new person? Give me three cards. See what's going on with this next lover or love or special person that's coming towards Pisces. Okay. Ooh, we got a Romeo coming in towards you, Pisces. This could be definitely somebody from your past or this could be somebody from your childhood, okay? This person could be going through a tower moment right now, okay, or having some difficulties with their foundation, with their home life, okay? Things are a little bit upside down right now. They may be a little angry, kind of cutting things away, trying to do a, a cleanup is what I'm hearing, so kind of uh, clearing energy out, maybe clearing things out that no longer serve them anymore, cutting through some BS within their um, home situation or if they're in a connection right now, which I do not feel like this person is in a connection uh, with a romantic partner. Okay. I feel like that this is just related around their home. There's a lot of chaos going around the home and foundation. It could possibly be around work. You could be dealing with a uh, Aries or a Scorpio or a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces or a Gemini energy here. So you could have these in your chart. Your person could have these in their chart. Like I said, this person could be from the past. They are um, a Romeo type energy, very uh, unconditional love type energy here. We do um, have messages. This person is very communicative. Uh, when you are able to communicate with them, if this person is from your past and you know who this is, if not, this could be somebody from uh, school or from church, okay, that you went to school with at a very young age. You could also know this person through family or friends, okay, and you possibly could have known them for um, quite a while, you know, uh, maybe up to six months to six years, you could have known this person at least, okay? Or you could have known this person since you were around the sixth grade or the age of six, okay? Um, you also could have had play dates with this person and maybe not even remember it. So just take that as it resonates too from what I'm getting. I, I feel like this is like the knight in shining armor, someone that wants to come in and sweep you away. They want to give you all their love, but um, they are a knight. They're very young. They're um, very immature when it comes to relationships. So they may not have had very many connections, okay? They may not, they may be a little immature when it comes to relationship dynamics, okay? May not have been with very many people if you um, pick up on what I'm saying here. This person could be a, a little aggressive with their words or uh, a forthcoming come out um, maybe as uh, they're a little angry with their words like but I, I don't feel, I don't feel like it, it's more of an anger it's just more of an immaturity like this person does not know the right words to say so it comes off as a, a as a rude way okay or a inappropriate way is what I'm getting so um, yeah a little clouded like they just can't uh, they can't process their words the way they come out they just come out in a um, very puzzled manner that can maybe come off as being, wow, that's kind of uh, very immature of you to talk that way. You know, um, they may have a different language of love that they speak, you know, how, how they speak it and how they take action are two different ways here, two different um, objectives for them. Okay. So let's get a, this person may also drink, okay, if they are a uh, younger age, which I feel like they may be uh, in their mid to late 20s here. They may uh, drink a little bit, so um, they may be reminiscing about the past while they're drinking. So just take these messages as they resonate for you. The letters W and M could be significant. 
Let's see what's going on with this person. Let's get some more characteristics and personality with the new love interest that's coming in for uh, Pisces. This person may like to fish, okay, or like to eat a lot of fish or sushi or... Um, We have medical professional coming out for you, Pisces, okay? So this person could definitely work in the, in the medical field. I'm also hearing um, EMT, okay? This person could uh, drive an ambulance, but that's not for going to be for everyone. But they could work in uh, like a, a life care type or like an emergency setting, okay? Maybe emergency room. We have costumes and role play. And this person could be like a registered nurse. Or um, a farm or a pharmacy. They could be a pharmacist. We have city slicker. Okay, this person could live in the city, work in the city. They also like a uh, role play. This Romeo. They might want you to dress up in like medieval uh, characters. Is what I'm hearing. We have a uh, supernatural. Okay, so this is like a connection of out of the ordinary it's not like any other okay they see you as somebody different somebody that's special that um not like they've ever seen before okay we have distractions so this person could have a lot of distractions right now it could be around family and uh home life this could be siblings too that they're dealing with okay we have drivers so this person is in the driver's seat of their own life or they're trying to take control of their life there could be uh parents or siblings here that are preventing them from, you know, taking control of their life and moving forward here, Pisces, and that may be why they're having this tower moment right now. We have foodie, so this definitely, this person likes to get out and eat, maybe in the city, going to different restaurants, different types of, uh, of foods, you know, fish, sushi, whatever. We have has a wild side, so this person is definitely wild and young and crazy, uh, whereas they're crazy at heart, that's a possibility. Seems like they do uh, like to roll up their sleeves. I'm hearing they they're, they're not afraid to get dirty. They're not afraid to um, get out there and get things done. I mean, they may be a little bit um, pulled back. Like they may just kind of feel out the, the room and check the water here, test the water before they jump in. I don't feel like they're very uh, impulsive I, for the most part here, but they do have a wild side if you let them. We have Dreamer. So this person can dream a lot. They can fantasize. Like I said, they are reminiscing about the past Pisces. This could also be a soulmate or someone that you see as a soulmate or they may they see you as a soulmate here. We have hardworking. Like I said, they're not afraid to roll up their sleeves and get dirty. All right. <laughs> We have a uh, fun sock. So this person may like to wear different colored socks. Okay. Maybe with different characters or animations here or just mix, mix matched. We have a uh, talker. So yeah, I do believe this person does like to talk. They uh, are very um, odd with their communication though. It comes off as, like I said, immature and not really knowing the right things to say, even though that, you know, I feel like they're a blabber, like blah, 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 blah. So all right, we have bookworm, okay, they may be in school, okay, or in college here from what I'm picking up too, especially with this younger energy. They may be studying like a new course, maybe working on their medical professional degree, you know, um, getting the upper hand, you know, um, if they have a um, an RN, maybe they're going for their PhD or they're doing a physician's assistant type um, career is what I'm getting naughty this person is very naughty very naughty and athletic this person could be athletic or they could work out I mean like, look at him he looks even though he's young he looks like he is a uh, tasty there okay so uh, very good looking he could have light brown or blonde to light brown hair and a very nice chest this person could also be a healer Pisces okay Get a little bit more here. We have cartoons. Like I said, this person may be into cartoons. They may watch a lot of cartoons. They could watch anime. They could have different colored anime socks here. We have animal lover. They could also have animal socks. Um, they could have animals. I'm hearing horses too. So this person could have a farm or live on a farm or live near, like at least in the country life or around farm animals. We have open-minded. So this person 
is open-minded and they're willing to try just about anything. So we have acting or performer. This could be an actor, this could be a performer. This could be a new and rising person, someone that's just getting out there from what I'm hearing too. Uh, maybe there's a hidden talent that this person has that they're um, trying to showcase, I'm hearing. So there's could be something with a showcase. We have meditation, so this person could meditate. I mean, they may be very spiritual, or they may be working towards that. We have politics, so this person could definitely be into politics, or that's an interesting subject for them. It may have something to do with their medical profession and uh, uh, and political views, okay? We have weird and nerdy. We know we got a, a bookworm here, someone that's a, a studious person. All right, and we have confidence, so this person's very confident in, the, in themselves. And we have sweetheart, so this person is definitely a sweetheart. They could have, wear glasses. We had a couple that fell on the floor here, Pisces, so I'll grab those for you real quick. We have pretty eyes. This is definitely this person. Sorry that they're falling on the floor. Pretty eyes, and they are definitely a sweetheart. They could live by the beach or the ocean, or they just like to travel there, okay? They like vacationing taking days off work if they can. Um, they could travel a lot with their family or with their friends, okay? If they may have a small friend group too, like one or two people that they travel with here. We have risk taker. So this personally is personally, okay, maybe it's a personal little thing. This person likes to take risk, okay? They uh, live on the edge. Like I said, they're willing to try just about anything here. We have a deep voice, so this person may be young with this deep voice, and we got a video gamer, so they maybe uh, do a lot of cartoon vid um, cartoon video games here. I'm picking up like Super Mario, so they may be into Super Mario. We have holiday decorating, so I feel like this this person is very into like the medieval um, medieval times, okay, or like uh, back in the day. There's that, that medieval era. They may like to dress up. I mean, it could be like um, Star Wars picking up uh, vibe too. So there could be like a, a Star Wars or a, a Star Trek um, fetish that this person has or some type of uh, um, collectibles that they have. Okay, we have entertaining. So this person is very entertaining, not a dull moment. You know, he's a, a Romeo uh, in, in disguise here. We have sarcastic. So you can make him off a little bit sarcastic with his words, but I feel like this person whether it's a he or a she, they um, just don't know how to express their words correctly because they're a little immature in relationships. Like I feel like they have not had very many connections and if they had, they haven't lasted a very long time here. We have amused easily. So yeah, very young and uh, it doesn't take much to uh, get them very excited and very happy. This person is very thankful though for all that they have. They may have green eyes. We have a cuddler and a heartbreaker, so just be aware this person, you know, is a sweetheart, you know, someone that comes in and sweeps you off your feet and says possibly all the right things, okay? If not, this possibly could come out as being very rude and very immature, so um, they may break a lot of hearts. They may be just very good looking and have a lot of suitors here and uh, are considered a heartbreaker or look like a heartbreaker, Okay. So let's see what's on the bottom. We have spanked. So this person might like to be spanked or they like to spank you. We have astrology. So they may be into uh, the galaxy and the stars. Okay. The zodiacs uh, may be important. They, have, they may have some type of interest in that. We have soft skin. So this person has soft skin, short hair, and they do have some bad habits. Okay. So um, and they may volunteer some type of humanitarian. If they are in the medical profession here, maybe they do some volunteer work. It could be through... Um, college or um, some type of course of study that they're doing. Okay, Pisces. So um, take these messages. They resonate for you with this new love, uh, lover or love interest coming in your way, whether it is, uh, like I said, from your past or if it's an ex or if it's a brand new person, it's not going to be for everyone. I hope that they message resonated with you and leave me a comment below and let me know. Uh, thank you for all your love and support for my channel. I do appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day, Pisces. Thank you.